And welcome back. I double clicked on the vintage cube draft and it fired immediately. So here we are doing a vintage cube draft. I like Mind Twist. I also like Mana Vault. Hmm. Well, 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 well. Ventum hardly knew him. <laughs> Yeah, we have a good we have a good time. <clears throat> a lot of good people here, you know. A lot of good a lot of good folks, you know. Um, I think it's gotta be mana vault. It's really hard to pass a mana vault. It just leaves you open for so many things, you know, like an Ulamog, like a second pick Ulamog. See, some people would take this time spiral. And I might be one of them. I might be one of them. But I also do like an Ulamog. And I also do like a Steel Seraph. No, I don't. Do I? I don't hate it with a Mana Vault. Let's take this Time Spiral, because that's a, that's a fantastically broken card, right? It's a fantastically broken card. I do like a Remand. Nothing in here really lends itself to a time spiral too much, though. Like, it makes you wonder if we can take... Well, see, like, the thing is, I was going to take Metalworker, or Solemn Simulacrum, but Metalworker's not in the cube anymore, so... I don't even know if that's good. <clears throat> like, it really makes me... pause, because the having the abundance of artifacts really... Like, there were a couple of cards that really rewarded that, like Metalworker and... Talarian Academy, but now it's just like Talarian Academy. I think it's just Remand here. I don't really see any cards that I would love mana vaulting into right now. Could also take Talisman of Hierarchy, but we'll go with the Remand. We'll see what happens. That's seven mana. But I do love this guy. What a beast. Actually, it's an Elder Phyrexian Dinosaur, not a beast. You cannot sacrifice it to Ravenous Baloth. I kind of like just Tropical Island here. I also do like Atali a lot. But what are we going to do with Atali? I don't know. Dang. Dang. I'm going to take Atali because it's the card I want to take. And I feel like we should take the card we want to take and play that deck. And I want to take a time warp. And I do like a chart, of course, here. Yeah, let's take a chart, of course. An Ulamog, huh? Interesting. Atali and Ulamog, what did they do? I mean, honestly, it makes me feel good that this is like the only reasonable pick in this pack. And it lets me do the red things, which I kind of like. I could just take Primeval Titan. We could be a teamer deck and these could be like fat top end idiots. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, it feels better than Murktide Regent here. I do like a Deep Root Wayfinder. We also don't have to be red. We could just be blue green. Yeah, I'm going to take the Wayfinder. I've wanted to play this card since I first saw it in the queue. Now we got an Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger as well. Well, one good Drazi deserves another good Drazi. <clears throat> so I guess we'll just be Drazi in. <clears throat> Tulamog. Yeah, when I mean, you have one, it's an Ulamog. I mean, if you have got two, it's a Tulamog. Everybody knows that. Um, I don't think we have anything to go with Titania right now, and Kogla's kind of expensive. 
wonder if we just take the off-color talisman. That doesn't seem great, right? I'll take the Kogla. I just feel like it's probably better. I mean, it could have been Titania, but we passed. We already passed Misty Rainforest and a Scalding Tarn. So if we were Teamer, we passed two of our three possible fetch lands. Um, but it does feel like green is kind of open here. Uh, return a card from your garden. I'm gonna take this because I do like getting time warp back, and I took the scavenging is okay, okay. I I don't know if that was just me being a moron or if that was actually a a miss a miss pull. Who can say, you know? Oh, Tireless Tracker is nice. So is a Raging Ravine, but I really don't think we need a reason to be red right now. The absolute big fat idiots. The biggest of the big fat idiots. 100%. Biggest, fattest idiot confirmed. Uh, it might just be Birds of Paradise here. That feels good. <clears throat> hmm fascinating this <laughs> oh katie with the hunter icon and hunter's just sitting right here behind me like a good boy what a good little boy Mizzix mastery this is what we literally i built the the inspired ultimatum cruel ultimatum magma opus Mizzix Mastery deck. Never found a Mizzix Mastery. And then the following two drafts, I've had it, I've seen it both times. So, if that ain't the way the cookie crumbles. I think it's Thran Dynamo here. Oh, look, it, look, it was going to take the Mizzix Mastery again. Oh my god, I really got to be vigilant about that. Oh, I really like a Delighted Halfling here. Um... Also, this is legendary, so Delighted Halfling can help us cast that. I do feel like we're kind of ramping here. But when aren't we ramping, you know? My inner ears hurt. Baby, you're a mess. Katie's getting a cold. And uh, she's been in misery for the past... I guess just today, really. But, you know. Still not great. Babe, you got to go to the doctor? Turn one Mana Vault into turn two Thran Dynamos. It's a thing. Now we have an Inspired Ultimatum. Also, an on-color Talisman, if we do want to play that red. I think we're taking the Talisman here. That's pretty good. Only if Wally and Watson can come as emotional support for the Doctor? I think you need to go to the Doctor to make them emotional support animals. Then you can go back to the Doctor with them as the, sp the emotional support animals. <clears throat> That's what they tell me anyway. City of Traders. I always think this is Ancient Tomb and I get a little excited because I think it's probably good. And that's City of Traders and I'm like, oh, this is the bad one. I guess we'll just take Red White Talisman. That doesn't seem great, does it? None of these cards seem great for us though, so. Could be Daredevil. I think I'd rather have Daredevil than an off-color Talisman. If they get like Ancestral or Time Walk and you, and you Daredevil them, it's... It's a good feeling. Uh, we got hold Hunsey. Basalt Monolith. Let's take the Basalt Monolith. Again, it's just more mana. And ideally, we'll find a Zerta, and we can find a way to cast Zerta. We got the Lighted Halfling, that can cast a Zerta. Oh, and that other Talisman can cast a Zerta as well. 
So that's fascinating. Intergalactic planetary, planetary, intergalactic. Portal of Phyrexia is interesting. Do we have the mana for this? I feel like we might. And also, if we end up with a channel in the third pack, I'm feeling really good about it because we got these three guys. Taiga is actually the perfect card to have tabled. Wow, that was great. <clears throat> Thank you. Because now I'm looking at the Zatali. Oh, Snoozlemoo, thank you for the resub, my dude. Really appreciate it. Oh, we'll take Mizzix Mastery, too. Maybe we do get to... Oh, but Rona. Rona's real good. Unless you catch it. Don't catch the Rona. Oh, man. We don't have a Mizzix Mastery deck. Let's just take the Rona. Oh, another Talisman that's on color. That's fantastic. Okay. Let's just take this Mind's Desire. No, no one else can have it, you know? Sometimes you gotta deny people their pleasures. Oh, look, an Inspired Ultimatum. That's fascinating. Also, Sail into the West, and we have Time Spiral. I wonder if we can get, like, a Narset. I'll just take this Kolagon's Command, because it's really good. LED can cast a Tali. It makes three red mana. You know, you're right. God, I really feel silly passing it now. There's your boy. <laughs> that's that's what we're looking for. This deck feels like a solid channel deck so far. <clears throat> yep, all right. Definitely taking that. And there's nothing else that'd be great. Volcanic Island would be nice to see again. Maybe Triome, but yeah, this this feels like a solid channel deck. And there's the Zerda for the infinite mana. So that's cool too, I guess. So we both, we got both the things we wanted here. I'm, I'm going to take this over anything else because I, I just I don't want anyone to take this. And if we, by some miracle, get a, <clears throat> a Grim Monolith, then we have two combo pieces for it, you know? So that's cool. Island Mountain, that is a land that helps us. Fractured Identity, but we don't have any white sources right now except for Birds of Paradise. Uh, but this pack is not great for us. I might just take this and hedge on like finding a white source. I mean, Finale is not bad, but you do need four green for it just to channel. I'm going to take the Fracture Identity. I think it's probably the best card in this pack. Um, Mountain Forest Plains is fine. I do like Subtlety, I think. <laughs> I'm not 100% on it. <clears throat> the problem is, like, this can't target things that are already on the battlefield. So keeping up four mana just to not even counter the creature, but, like, just to put it on top of the library it's kind of meh i still think it's probably better than not mm, sneak attack is interesting we have woodfall primus primeval titan and a good ulamog i think we're just taking sneak attack here and another another on color talisman for us yeah we'll take sneak and we'll hope that uh copper copper line gorge comes back Wow, that's a good Sylvan Library. Yeah, we're going to take the Sylvan Library. Gaia's Cradle, huh? Fascinating. I do like Coalition Relic here a lot. That seems pretty sweet. Uh, I don't think we're a Gaia's Cradle deck. I think we're a weird blue, green, red deck. They are all good Sylvan Libraries. I don't know what Bront means, though. I don't understand your lingo, okay? Okay, bucko. <clears throat> I'll take a questing beast. That guy's fine. Okay, so we did not... 
get anything we wanted out of this pack back. I guess I'll just take Inferno Titan. We could take Colonnade because it's a splash for the Fractured, but I feel like we kind of don't have the best mana here anyway. <laughs> so, you know. Flash with Dinos. I mean, this this is... It's fine, but like... I don't know. I don't love it. Also, there's Flash with Woodfall Primus too, I guess. I mean, Wood, it Flash just might come back. Let's take Dream Halls. Maybe that's a card we can play. Let's take Finale. All right. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's a, that's a deep cut right there. Eh, none of these cards are exciting, but we'll take the Urza. Oh, the Copperline Gorge did come back. I don't like that this is for both players, right? The symmetry here bug bugs me. Rather than pay the mana cost for a spell, it's controller may discard a card that shares a color with that spell. I, th I don't think we're a time spiral deck, which is an easy cut. Um, we do have Time Spiral and Mind's Desire, which is kind of funny. I think we are in a Tali deck, because we just want to be. Have you ever passed a channel? Mm, yes, when I get it really late and I'm not even close to that archetype, but it's rare. Because sometimes I pick cards in the hopes that I get channel, because it's actually shockingly likely that, uh, that it will get passed to us if it's in the packs. Okay, so do you have to talk about that with your therapist when it happened? No, uh, you know we we have an understanding that it's going to happen sometimes, and I just get a, a kind of a pass for those moments. So you know it's a uh, it's nice. <clears throat> it actually looks like we're more red green almost. One, two, three, four, five, six. What if we cut the the blue entirely? Because really, like, we don't need blue for anything. Except for, like, we just like the cards, right? And then we can just add, like, sort by mana value. We can literally just add, like, Questing Beast, Kogla, and, like, Finale. And then our mana gets much better. Or even, like, Inferno Titan. I mean, probably finale, right? It's just another channel target if you get four, four green. I mean, because most of our blue spells are double blue, and like the ones that aren't double blue aren't super exciting. I also think you really need to build around dream halls. Um, I think if you get it early enough, that's probably fun to do. But I think the problem is dream halls cost five, and like a lot of the things you want to be using dream halls for that cost more than five because that's where you're really going to get your value is like are colorless. Right. So like if I can play dream halls on, I guess you can play dream halls on five and then like start casting other things, but how many cards are you going to have in your hand at that point? Are they going to cost more than dream halls because they kind of have to for you to get the value. Otherwise you could have just played them instead of dream halls. I think it's, I think it's kind of complicated. I once saw Frank pass a Black Lotus for an urn machine. Happened down San Antonio Way, maybe 10 years back, around the time of the big drought. Was eating apple slices off a switchblade. Just grunted and passed the back. What is that from? Oh, God. Yeah, the funny thing was the Mystic Snake wasn't in the pack. It just winked at me. Completely independent of the pack. Yeah, so now, we, like, it's either... I think it's Finale. Yeah, Finale seems better in this situation. I feel like that was from... that. Yeah, that just felt like it was from something. I apologize that I underestimated your... Your, uh... <clears throat> your personal creativity, though. 
Wow, they're giving me, look at all these planes they're giving us. How generous. 10, 11, 12, 5, 6, 7. Six. This is eight eleven. This feels better. <clears throat> I don't want to get messed up with Zerta, but both talismans make red. For Zerta, so does Halfling, so does Bird. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is thirteen red sources. That seems pretty good. All right, we'll try it like this. Do we want? Do we want Inferno Titan for anything else? The only thing is. Inferno Titan is actually better with Sneak Attack than Finale is, so I'd kind of like to get a, an Inferno Titan in here as well. Like, the cards I think are good with Sneak Attack are Atali, Woodfall Primus, and this Ulamog. Which is not terrible, but I think Inferno Titan dealing 6 and attacking for 6 is also pretty busted. Also, if we have a tireless tracker, we can, I guess, giving him indestructible doesn't prevent him from being sacrificed. We can cut like Thran Dynamo for Inferno Titan, I guess. Hmm. No, I mean, I don't want to cut a creature that's like, we only have 12 creatures in the deck. I don't really want to cut a big, fat idiot to play a different big, fat idiot. I think I'd rather just cut Thran Dynamite. Like, we have so much ramp already. Mana Vault, two creatures, Channel, two Talismans, Basalt, Coalition, Infinite with Zerta. I think I'd rather just cut the four mana. Now I want an apple. Winking Mystic Snake. <laughs> oh, much Mystic. Such snake. Wow. And then we wait. I have never heard of a Cosmic Crisp Apple. That sounds utterly insane. That sounds like an upgraded, evolved Honey Crisp. I think I think Questing Beast is pretty met with Sneak Attack, but we're not sneaking attack. We're just going to cast it, because if we have four mana, <laughs> like, why would we sneak attack it? Wow, that's a good one. Shoot. I'm going to mulligan. Okay. I like that only like th four cards changed here. <laughs> like you could literally see the other ones just stay completely still like this. These are in the exact same place as well, which is very interesting. And I always kind of wonder how that happens. So while we, were, while we were streaming here, I just got an update from a narrative designer position I applied for. They chose not to give it to me, unfortunately. Uh, they encourage me to apply again in the future if I see another role that matches my skills and accomplishments, though. So, that's cool. I didn't want it anyway. <clears throat> I mean, I always wonder, like, what their criteria is, you know? It's like, what, like, because I feel like I have a good amount of experience in this area. Like, it's not a, it's not a senior position. It's not a leader principal position. Like, 
Fascinating. I mean, I also consider like a lot of these roles have like two to 400 applicants, I assume. So it's like, you know, cool. Nice. Yeah, joke's on you. I got it on land anyway. No blocks. <laughs> sure, man. Knock yourself out. You got it. I mean, that's funny because that's the one I don't really care about because... If I play this, I can just kill all your other guys. So that's cool. <laughs> oh boy. That is a thing, isn't it? Well, Hopefully they tap out for something irrelevant. Yeah, obviously it doesn't want me ramping out to be the Eldrazi, but like this is gonna probably take like three turns to get going anyway. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Mountain. Fucking cool. <sighs> Never don't have it. You know? Let's do a little. There we go. Just got all the answers, huh? Answer to Talisman. Answer to Six Drop. Answer to Bird of Paradise. Answer to Sneak Attack. And meanwhile, like, I also am I'm missing land drops, so it's like. I'm sure this will be an avalanche rider. What? They just discarded their hand? Oh, they just exile the top three and they can play them? This turn? Sure. That's actually... It's just this turn, right? That's weird. Yeah, that's totally fine. Oh, I forgot I needed another land. I was literally like, that's cool. I'm going to untap and play Inferno Titan. And then I was like, oh, wait, I don't have the sixth land and I still don't get it. So that's cool. <laughs> like, oh, my God. I guess I'll give it one more turn and go to five. <sighs> the number of things that have to go wrong for me in order for this to be the situation we're in. Absolutely shocking. Like, it's wild that they get an extra six damage because they missed two land drops. I mean, it's not even, like, really... Like, if I hit my lands, like, I'm fine, but I don't. So I'm not. Like, I also have a Mana Vault in the deck. I have another Talisman. I have... They're just giving me cards? Still haven't hit the land. Cool. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> I can't have six land to save my fucking life. Oh, Lord. Having a good time. Having a good time. All right. Well. Did they have anything worth hitting? Force of will. <laughs> I'm just going to play it like this. Like, I don't think we have any great sideboard options for them, so. cool like I'm, I'm keeping these in the in the sense in uh with the reasoning being like we have a lot of cards that this is half of like two card combos like channel sneak attack things like that so i mean obviously they're, they're expensive cards but they're necessary pieces to certain strategies that we have
I mean, the problem is they don't—they didn't have any cards that were relevant in their graveyard, and they also didn't have any creatures in their graveyard. So, not really. I mean, scavenging news is basically just going to be a two-two. And I'm now they're going to play Lauren again and kill our talisman, put us a little a little further behind. I like that we went from like opening hand of six lands and talisman into uh, like five lands, nothing else at all. Well, we are two turns away from just casting an Atali. Which I'm sure they'll just have hard cast Force of Will for. <laughs> but really, it didn't bounce my signet there? That's funny. Well, I'm sure you have a counter spell. That's okay. I don't have anything anyway, so. These draws have been fantastic. Sure. <laughs> I have one seven drop in my hand that I can cast next turn. <laughs> oh, God. Wow, this has just been such a pleasure. I, I'm such a lucky boy. I can't wait to go home and... If I felt like our deck was bad, it'd be one thing, but like I feel like we have a lot of good pieces for the things we want to be doing, and we just don't get to do them. Okie dokie. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, man. <clears throat> we are. We are still at 20. I'm sure that'll be relevant. It just means they're going to take longer to kill us while they literally have control of the game. I've literally drawn all lands since my opening hand, yes. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, dude. She got me. Yeah, I mean, I'm laughing the whole time. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, if it, if my deck was, like, all expensive shit, I'd be like, wow, I really misbuilt my deck. But it's literally not. There's, like, 21 and 2 drops in the deck. Yep. Cool. Go to 4. I'm sure I win this turn, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord. Great. That was fun. I had a good time. I got to play a lot of lot of magic. I got to really feel like I was involved. Like, any of these cards, Deeper Wayfinder puts a body on the board that can do something. Sylvan Library is significantly uh, relevant. Channel, man, I get to cast any of the three cards in my hand that were colorless. Like, Timeless Tracker would have been great. I would have got to draw on so many extra cards. Questing Beast puts a body on the board that they can't really block. Any of these six drops gets gets me some board presents like instead the cards i drew were these four <laughs> and here's the rest of the deck uh, like i don't get it man like i seriously is it is, is it is it my account like has my account been cursed i don't understand And then first game, like, I literally have two six drops, and they, they, I literally can't hit a fifth land. Like, okie dokie. See here, this looks decent. You know, in theory. Fashion will relate to the party, Bird of Paradise. All right, let's see if this Deep Root Wayfinder does anything. Okay. Got it. 
Yeah, it, it, Massacre sucks more in Cube for two reasons. One is because, yeah, you definitely have fun stuff to do and you just don't get to do it. <laughs> oh, Lord. And the other reason is because you build your deck more competitively. Like, it's more of a constructed deck. Remember when I was excited to attack with my 2-3? Boy, those were the days. I actually don't think we want this. I think we just want to play two, two ramp cards here. Cause this is just going to, we're just dead, I guess. Unfucking believable. I also have combos. What if I were able to get my combos? Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. The second reason, I don't know if I finished my thought because I'm like, just having the best time, but like, it, it feels like you build your deck. It's more of a constructed deck. Um, so you can, you can curve better. You can figure out, answers and removal better but like yeah all right cool one two three four five yep cool just can't deal with world spy and wear them into flash i guess really really good experience i'm glad they took bribery out i feel much better about not being bribery in the cube <laughs> that's that's good great great do i bring dire fleet daredevil in, in case they flash then i can flash something in what can I flash in? It's Holly, Woodfall Primus, and I don't know. We're probably just going to lose if that happens, right? Oh, boy. Sure. Sylvan Library. We'll see if we get to actually do anything with the Sylvan Library. <laughs> oh, man. The, demor the demoralization here is, is, is palpable. All right, let's see if we can channel off the tippity top. We got three looks to hit a channel here, right? Wow. Oh God. Yeah. Sick hand. Sure it'd be cool if we had sneak attack or channel. Well, it's too late now because now we... Well, I guess we could still channel and go to like nine. Or go to like one, rather. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah. Uh, now, eventually, you do plan to have dinosaurs. Cool. Uh, so I can't cast anything in my hand. Hello? 
And next turn we can take nine because they can make this a three, three. So this was another fun match. Really had a good time. Cool. Oh, channel. There we go. So again, seven, six, seven, ten, 10 and 11 drops. I just want to check the deck one more time. Hold on. Okay. So seven, 10 and 11 drops. Okay. So what, what you're saying is this was the rest of the deck that I just didn't get to see or draw fascinating okay it's so it is in there this is the main deck 40 cards okay okay i'm just checking i just wanted to make sure because it, it feels like i might be having a mental breakdown and maybe my faculties are deteriorating so um just wanted to just wanted to check and make sure that the cards were in the deck that i didn't actually add like uh 36 lands and then two Ulamogs and a Tali and a six drop. Cause that would have been, wouldn't, that would have been awkward. Wouldn't it? If I added this guy, these two and one six drop as our, as our deck. Okie dokie. Here we go again. Let's try it again. Could be a good hand. Really, really depends. I mean, at least these matches were quick, right? So, I mean, we've done the draft in two rounds, but in, within 41 minutes so far, so. Candelabra of Taunos. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have seven mana next turn. Let's see if we can get a third green for this Kogula. Huh? Third green. Or a six drop. One of the six drops you love giving me so much. Or an Atali. You you put that in my hand every game. Okay. Fantastic. So you got three mana. And then you can untap this and add a bunch more mana. Grim Monolith. Phenomenal. Fantastic. You can untap your academy. And then you can add four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana on turn two. Solid turn two. You didn't want to untap your Talarian Academy. What is happening right now? What? What? Uh, I will choose not to untap it. Talisman. Solid. So... One, two, talisman. So now we just have to hope that we can attack, you know? But I mean, now they got infinite mana, right? Like. Four, tap, untap, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 mana. It's pretty good. I'm no expert on mana, but. And now if we can just untap and draw a sneak attack. All right, well, that's pretty good. Nine mana now. Change their mind. One mana. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh yes, uh, the Vindicate in the primarily blue deck. Fantastic. Thank goodness you had two colored sources. Phenomenal. Absolutely. Just it's four, eight, twelve. Hmm. 
What? Hmm. Cool. <laughs> Make sure the next card is extremely relevant, please. <laughs> Literally, just channel just doesn't exist in the deck. Oh, Lord. I feel good about this hand. I think this deep water, deep root wayfinder is gonna gonna find us some lands, you know? Mana Crypt, fantastic. Got it. Mox Opal. Tap the Crypt, play a Talisman. <sighs> Jesus Christ. This has just been... Just one of these jobbies. Wow, this has just been such a pleasure. I, I'm such a lucky boy. I can't wait to go home. Now I feel like it's Sylvan Library. <laughs> well, on the bright side, they only have three cards in hand, so I'm sure they're not going to be able to do anything. It was one, two, three, four, five. This is five, six mana that they have, plus their artifacts cost one less, so they can play a six drop or seven drop. Or two, four drops. This is what death feels like. Basalt monolith off the top one time. Just once, just one time, give me a goddamn combo or, or act proactive thing to do. Thanks. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, might as well attack, I guess. You're paying costs. On the end step. I actively have a headache because of this match. This this because of this draft.
Yep, and that's the end. Wow. Oh six. Oh six. I'm probably still gonna post this because this is just a shocking. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.